What's up guys, it's Brandon from Team Ragnarok here. I am here again with Leo. Today we're going to bring you a Kagero Dragonic Overlord Lacrosse deck profile. Would you like to start us off here? Yeah, so for the starter we're playing Lizard Runner Undo. Playing this particular version because it's foil and it matches the rest of my grade zeros. Then we play, of course, four copies, Dragonic Overlord to cross, main card of the deck, you go force two and just swing three times when you copy the end. And speaking of which, we have our four copies of Dragonic Overlord the end. So by copying this, it lets you swing three times. Uh, usually I go for the discard free restand first, because that way you get 10,000 power, making your next swing bigger and more uh, pressure to guard. Moving on to grade twos, we have free wave and strike to cut. So when you're on Dragonic Overlord to cross and you copy the end with its name, this makes your opponent guard of two cards against each of his attacks, which is really good for just drawing out the hand when you guard it. Next up is Torrid Cannon Dragon, just a retirement option, spot removal if you need it. Also draws you a card when you're on four last cards in hand. And then finally, four, Ignero Dragon. Uh, when you ride it or call it to rear guard, it searches Dragonic Cover like the Cross from the top seven cards of your deck. Also on rear guard, it gains 5k every time your Vanguard swings if you have four us in hand. So just generally solid card overall because it can become a beater. And then onto grade ones, we have three Calamity Tower Wyvern. Uh, Soul Blast 1, retire it, and give your Vanguard 15,000. So you just make Dragon of the Cross bigger, since you're taking Force 2. So you don't actually have to solid number at the start. And we have 3, Heatshot Dragoon, a uh, Dragon. This is mainly played for its rearguard skill. When you put it behind Dragon of the Cross, every time it restands, this will stand as well, making you have a consistent booster, hitting numbers all the time. Then have 4, Flame of Hope Ammo, 11k booster, and then when something's retired you can retire itself to counter charge and draw one. Self-explanatory really. Then Lava Flow Dragon, 4, it's your Grave Free Search here. Make sure you have to correct ride, so you don't miss riding to the end. And then for triggers, we're playing 4 heal, 2 draw PG, 2 crit sentinel, and then another 8 crit to round off to 10. Okay, thank you for that. Um, I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but do you just mind kind of explaining why 10 crit? Uh, 10 crit's good for closing out games faster. Like, to draw Sentinel is useful sometimes, but I don't want to max it in case, like, I hit them instead of hitting a crit, which could potentially end the game. Okay. Um, so, from the looks of your, your list, you know, it, it, you're very happy with it at the moment. Uh, would you say it's a, a pretty solved list, or would you say there's any flex choices that people could change things around? Uh, yeah. Like, this isn't absolutely necessary, I just personally prefer it. Like, people often play stuff like Burn Rise Dragon, mm -hmm. which I can, like, I can see. Like, it's just another rear guard against power and crit, so mm -hmm. you can have more pressure that way. Mm -hmm. Pretty useful. There's also Prowling Dragon Striking, which gives your Vanguard 5k in a crit, but it can't attack. Okay. My issue with that was, if I don't ride it, it's just a 10k vanilla with a 5k shield. Also, my opponent could just see it and then decide to damage deny me, and it doesn't go off. Okay, right. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.